Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So guys, what I want to talk to you about today is we're going to revisit the post hole set. Now I did a, a, this set earlier on, oh, a little over a year ago, I guess. So it's in my, if you want to go back and look at the original one, it's in the playlist under uh, uh, predator trapping and under coyote trapping as well. But today we're going to take another look at it. Um, there are two different ways, that, actually three different ways that you could make this set up. Now, there's some guys going around kind of claiming that they're the originator of this set, and I'm here to tell you that that's false. The first time I ever heard about this set or ever saw this set was in uh, Del Kramer's uh, Trapping 101 book. And for those of you that may not know or know, knew or know who Del is, uh, it would pay you to go back into the annals of history just a little bit and do some studying. Uh, Dell was a tremendous coyote trapper from uh, Washington State, caught several, several thousands of coyotes in his lifetime. Not saying that Dell was the originator of this set, but this is where I first learned about it was in his book. So uh, anyway, without any further ado, let's get things set up here and I will show you how I set these up. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got a dirt hole dug just straight, or a, not a dirt hole, but a post hole, and it's, oh, approximately eight, nine inches deep. We've got our dirt scattered around the outside edge of the hole there, and then the only opening coming into the hole is right through here to where a coyote can feel comfortable. This is the first way to set it up. This was the original way to set these up. You had blocking on each side of the trap, and one opening coming into it right here. That was, the, that was the way the set was originally described that I saw, okay? And I've used this set several times. Not so much this way, but in the other way that I'll show you here in just a bit. And what you would do is you would either pour a really rank bait or a strong lure down in that hole, or you would take a rebar stake, and in the side of the hole over there, you would drill a, or you know knock a hole and you would put some cotton ball or some rabbit fur or something of that sort in there and then put your bait and lure on it the only way that coyote can come into it to get down into the hole is through here he's not going to step up there where it's where it's rough and uncomfortable for him to stand he'll stand here in this little low spot where the trap is bedded that was the original way that i was shown now you can stake it pretty good if it's up here on top like this uh, or you can put it on a drag such as I have here now a number two size trap works better than that's about as big as you want to go a number three you start to get a little bit too big so you want to stay down there to number two or one and three quarters something like that that's this is the way that I was like I said it was originally described in the book of Dell's this is how I how I saw it now we'll, uh, we'll set it up the way that I normally set it and, and show you that. All right, so this is the way that I use the set. The trap goes down in the bottom of the hole, and then you put a hole off in the side of the hole where your bait and lure goes. You leave this here in front, one approach wide in, wide open for the coyote to come in and step down. That's the way I use the set. Now, I will caution you with this set. You need to make sure and, and watch your weather also this set needs to be on a long chain now the trap would be covered down in there it wouldn't be just left exposed i left it exposed just for demonstration purposes but you would cover that set you know with dirt um you need to have this trap on a long chain or on a drag if, you, if you're staked down in the bottom of this because what you got to realize is that coyote is straight up over top of it and if he's on a short chain he's liable to pump that stake so keep him on a good five foot of chain minimum, 10 foot's even better, um, or put him on a drag, such as on this one. That's the way I use the set. Now there is a third way and I will set it up and uh, show you how, how that's set. All right guys, so what we have done here, if you can see it in the camera, cameras don't really show angles a lot and I apologize about that, but that's just the way it is. We have cut a shelf here for the animal to stand on your bait would go right back here 
as he steps in to reach the bait, he's down in that hole and he is caught. This is a fox producing sound of a gun when you make it like this. It'll catch coyotes too. Okay, so the best part about this set, when you set the trap down in like that, it is cow proof, okay? You can use this set out in a pasture. There is not a cow in the world gonna stick her foot down in there. She will not put a hoof in there whatsoever because she, they have no depth perception. So to them, that hole looks like it's 40 feet deep. She is not gonna step in it. She'll slobber all around the up top of it here, but she'll never step down in there. The other thing about this is, if you've got a coyote that's digging, or you've got a red fox or a gray fox that's digging your other sets out, he can't dig that set out. There's no way for him to get down in there to dig that trap out. If he wants the bait, he wants the lure, the only good, the only way to get to the goodies is across the trap, and that's it. Absolutely no way to get dug out at this set. The only thing is, setting down in that hole like that, you've got to watch the weather. Now you can, if you want to, you can squirt a little urine up here on top, put a little call lure up there if you, if you desire, but your main attraction needs to be down in the hole. Always set, so we're set here, so, so that way is actually north. Our opening is from the south coming in. He'll always approach from the downwind side. This is his easiest way in to the trap. And that would be the completed sets, guys. All right, gang, I know that's kind of a quick little video, but I do believe there's some pretty good information in it, should you choose to use it. I uh, want to thank every one of you for tuning in and watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you would, please just hit that thumbs up for me. That's all I'm asking. Uh, appreciate it again, guys. Once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one. Signing out.